Hello there again, minions. Wheezy here with another weekly wrap up. Today, we're going to talk about what you missed on the channel this week, as well as some leaks and rumors, including leaked gameplay from Battlefield 2042, and some rumors about Call of Duty World War II Vanguard. You can tell I'm more excited about one than the other, but let's go talk about it all. <laughs> Okay, let's just go ahead and jump right into all of it. Um, the first video that was posted since the last weekly wrap-up is a Battlefield 5 gameplay where I was actually doing some sniping, and uh, I did reasonably well considering my skill level with a sniper rifle, for those of you that haven't seen my Cold War Sniper League videos. Um, so I think it was fun. I, I, you know, again, trying to get more experience in Battlefield 5, which I mostly skipped out on uh, in preparation for Battlefield 2042. Um, but I think it's worth a watch. It was good fun. And here's a clip from that video. Bad shot. Wow, that was epically bad. Oh, but followed up with the amazing. God, I'm good. Oh, jeez, bad sniper. Be dead, thank you. Oh, damn it. Sorry, squatty. Yeah, go check that one out to see me shoot some people in the face and some people in the not face. It's good times. Um, after that, I uh, posted a short, and this one like a couple of my other shorts have just kind of blew up like overnight it went from like a few views to literally 10,000 views um i think it was a good one and apparently so did much of youtube um so here is a battlefield 5 short that i posted in its entirety oh snipey sniped all right teammate you can grab me i'm in cover you're a sniper. You're not gonna help. Oh, behind you. God, behind you. Oh, fuck. Really? Yeah. Show him what's up. <laughs> you teabag bitch. God, I love video games. I mean, video games. I just... So after that, um... I posted another Modern Warfare video. This one did not blow up, <laughs> did not get many views. Um, not the best thumbnail I've ever created, and it's hard to kind of entice people to watch. Uh, oh, look at that, no, reminder. <laughs> it's hard to entice people to watch a two-year-old Call of Duty, um, but it's worth a watch. What I did was I was in a game, I was playing with the CX-9 and ranking it up, and I ended up in a match with an entire team that was playing with really fucking irritating tactics, like riot shields and using lots of equipment sitting in corners, and so I decided to take that gameplay, because I did well against those annoying tactics, and share with you my insights and my tips on how to deal with irritating motherfuckers like that when you come up against them. So be sure to check that video out, and here's a clip from it. This is not a close range weapon, so I'm having to move more tactically than I might otherwise, um, especially with the CX-9 where I can kind of come across around corners when fights. But look at all of this. Look at, look at this. There's like what, two claymores, three bouncing Bettys, an equipment box. Like, oh my God. So, and they're, most of them are behind cover so I can't like clear them out directly. I call in my cluster strike for two reasons. One, to try and clear some of the equipment, but also if anyone's coming in or out of that room, the cluster can kill them, but now I know, okay, they're up there. I can't run up there because they've got these explosives I can't clear out. I don't have a frag grenade anymore. I already used it. You know, so otherwise I would clear out this stuff with a frag grenade, but I can't do that. So now I'm trying to see if I can get an angle on the window from the other side as I see that guy walking by as I'm trying to clear that claymore or that bouncing Betty. So go check that one out if you're still interested in good shooter gameplay. I mean, Modern Warfare is just still so good, but man, I'm waiting for 2042. I'm ready for a relevant game that I enjoy playing. Um, speaking of which, the next video I posted, which actually, as I'm recording this, is still in the process of uploading. Um, if you have Game Pass, um, the Back for Blood beta is available for you to play for the next few days. I forget what it is, August 12th through like 16th, something like that. Um, Back for Blood is the new four-person co-op zombie shooter game from the brains who brought you Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2. 
the classic co-op zombie shooter. So uh, it's a bit, it's not a bit, it's a very updated version with this uh, very similar feel to Left 4 Dead. It just feels like a new, super upgraded uh, Left 4 Dead game with some ADS mechanics, which was nice. I think uh, Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2, if I remember correctly, was very much Counter-Strike-ish, so everything was hit fire. Anyway, it was, I tried it out for, I say a little bit, I pl tried to play through most of the entire act, uh, first act that's available. Um, so I played it for a couple of hours, and I really enjoyed it. Initially, the controls were a little bit weird, but I got that sorted out and ended up enjoying it. Um, I cut that down into a uh, not two-hour-long video, and uh, I think it's worth a watch, especially if you're interested in the game. And here's a clip from that. Mom, yes, please. Oh, hi, Mom. Wheezy's big deke. Mom, you want to play with my deke? Awkward. <laughs> coffee. I want coffee. This way. Yeah, listen to your mom. Whoa, did she fire both barrels? I just want to fire... Can I just fire one barrel, yo? Yeah, kill that zombie. I'm opening a crate. <gasps> you know what? I'll take that. I'll take that. Sorry, Mom, your shotgun did not work out. Guys, can I ping this? Uh, ping. Missed. Horrible miss. A raucous miss! Go ahead, auto-aim. Do all the work. Thank you. Don't jump in front of me and then tell me to watch where I'm shooting. I'm just saying. So make sure you go and check all of those out. As usual, there are clips, clips, there are links to those videos in the description for this. So let's talk about some leaks. And the first thing that I want to tell you is there is leaked gameplay footage from the alpha for Battlefield 2042. And most YouTube channels, YouTube channels who especially want to keep their channel, <laughs> can't repost that video because it gets taken down by EA. But there are places, and I'm going to tell you, where you can go and find that gameplay because otherwise it's like this hush hush secret. Like, well, you can go and find it somewhere. There's a subreddit called, what is it? I got it here. Gaming Leaks and Rumors. So go to reddit.com slash r slash gaming leaks and rumors, and you will find reposts of leaked Battlefield 2042 video if you need that itch scratched. And it's worth it. It's still an early state. There's still some weirdness and stuff like that. And the people who are willing to sacrifice their accounts and violate NDAs aren't the best players. Um, but a lot of people have reposted some of that stuff to sites like Streamable and stuff like that where they're not being taken down. So go check out that subreddit to find uh, those gameplay clips. And let me know what you guys think of this early footage. I don't want to I mean, obviously, I would say this all the time. I don't want to make judgments based on, A, a game I haven't played, B, short videos from shitty people who are taking it from a super early build of the game. Um, but I'm encouraged. I'm excited. It just get, It's getting my hype going, even though it's like not the super polished finish thing. And it does seem like it's pretty close. October is just, just around the corner. Hopefully, they'll clean a lot of this stuff up. DICE is not notorious for having clean launches. Um, but... I think it's exciting. I think there's a, there's a lot of cool stuff in there. Um, some of the things that, that have been leaked, third person takedown animations, which is not great news just because you know that they're using that just to sell microtransactions. And first person, you can't really sell a whole bunch of different microtransactions for new executions like uh, Modern Warfare and stuff or Cold War, the Call of Duty series, especially like Warzone, has all these weapon skins and takedowns and stuff like that. So. EA is getting on that boat, just like with Apex Legends, because that's another EA property, even though it's Activision that's doing Modern Warfare. But it's the state of the uh, industry right now. It is what it is. I don't think it's going to take away from the game that much. Um, the the gunplay, the gameplay, the graphics look a little bright for my taste, but based on the trailers that we've seen for the look and feel of how the game is, um, I think it's probably going to be hit a sweet spot by the time it gets launched. So things are looking pretty good. Go check that out uh, if you guys want to see that stuff. Um, hand in hand with that, there have also been leaks from, I think, people digging through the files in the new Season 5 Cold War update. Um, and they have found, like, you know, hidden images and stuff that leak the dates for potentially Call of Duty World War II Vanguard, um, including, like, leaked 
poster images. If that's something you you're, you care about with Call of Duty, I'm not super excited about a World War II Call of Duty. As you can tell, I missed out on like Battlefield Five. I didn't spend much time in Battlefield One. That's not my time period. But if you're interested in World War II Vanguard, and I'm not sure, well, I'll have to see trailers and stuff like that to decide if I'm even going to pick it up and spend any time with it. Um, but there will be leaks and stuff like that that you can check out as well. Um, you know, the typical, I think, November release date, um, somewhere around there. And there's some hints of early access, alphas and betas and stuff like that. So who knows? Maybe I'll get access to some of that. Maybe I'll get to get my hands on it. I was in the alpha and the beta for Cold War, and it it did not give me a good impression. And that turned out to carry over directly into the full game. They really didn't. Um, <laughs> didn't fix most of the things that felt wrong about it. So it could be a really good indicator of how World War II Vanguard will be um, and whether or not Call of Duty is going to be streaming back down this bucket of, well, Warzone's making us a ton of money, so let's launch this game and have it exist and then use it to feed content into our Warzone monster. Um, but I'm still excited for a new Infinity Ward Call of Duty in 2022, so let's hope that that still shows up and isn't a horrible nightmare. But anyway, I'm going to actually keep this one pretty short this week. Uh, let me know uh, what you think about these leaks. Go check them out. Go see if there's anything you're interested in. I've heard some people say, I don't know exactly how it's related because I'm not big in the leak community, that some people are really excited because once the new Call of Duty World War II Vanguard release date gets officially announced, Microsoft is going to reveal the Halo Infinite official release date. So expect to hear that soon. Things are going to start happening in the next couple of weeks as far as a lot of announcements. Um, and also, there was, if you missed it, the Battlefield 2042 short film. Uh, go check that out. It was actually really enjoyable, really well done. And it made me want to go back, I'm still considering it, go back to the Battlefield 4 single-player campaign and maybe do a story time on that just as like a refresher because that's the same world. Battlefield 4's story campaign, the characters, Irish, you know the world the characters are returning as part of the storyline for Battlefield 2042. Even though there's no single player campaign, it's going to be woven into the live service, much like Warzone is trying to build some kind of a storyline. But anyway, I said I'm going to stop, so I'm going to stop. I love you guys. I'll see you later.